All right, quick run of rake here again. Uh, just stripped out the engine bay. You don't need to see me videos of nuts and bolts, but you basically strip everything out. Pedal box, everything. I'm going to take the column out, the clean behind here, because everything's going to look white. So if anything is left dirty being the colder, it's going to look awful. So I'm going to clean off the entire engine bay, uh, take it back to bare metal, epoxy prime it, and then paint it. 108 Polar White. Get in there, a little bit to go. totally bare metal now you can see these sort of little like uh, little lines where you get uh bits of rust creeping out so you just got to get some uh some paper sand off the worst of it and then i'll be putting rubbing some uh, rust treatment all over it with a sponge just to like neutralize it Uh, then give that a quick uh, smooth down just in case and uh, yeah paint it with epoxy primer right use worth rust converter it's just the same as that um built hamber stuff but you can see it sort of goes on just rubbed it over with a sponge um goes on purple and sort of dries black right this is all dry now you see sometimes you can see so I try to, if you brush it on, you get real thick brush marks. I just sort of wipe this on with a sponge, but sometimes they have shown up. So just get a light bit of a, this is 320 and I'll do it with 500, even though it's only primer. But uh, just do that so there, aren't, uh, so there aren't sort of like strong brush marks in it. Or they'll show up. But the actual juice will do its job when it's in the little ridges of the actual rust and convert it. Right, this is just sorting out the uh, engine. You see, <coughs> that was where that uh, water leak was coming from. It's still dripping on here. Uh, flow, I don't know if you can see that sort of. School lines that catches the light doesn't really show up now. Or maybe you might see it there. Why do this, which is done to do, but also do the right thing. You know, you thread that needle like Obama. See that line on the outside there. Anyway, that's what it is. So I just see this. The ring gear has been put on the wrong way. On the flywheel. That little 45 degree chamfer on that tooth should be on the other side. That's why these uh, teeth are rounded. Oh, I'm just going to change the core plugs out. Let's see how much crap's in this one, as usual. Right. Spoon it out of there. That's, that's solid. That's not fun. Go on, dig this right out. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, let's put a sand. Nice. Just going to carry on strip the stuff look cuddy pipe so i'll put a new water pump and back plate on it and uh probably thermostat housing as well you can hear the sort of crustiness in the pipes
pick it up. Right, this is a grey primer. When I said green, is not green in colour. This is what it's called, green TIHS filler, filler primer. So that's on top of the proxy primer. So just black this off and do it white. Right. It is all nice and white and shiny. Uh, there's a couple of runs, small bits, but I did one lot and then I did another coat after. So there's two coats of the white on there. This is what slows you down. Lovely. You can't flush it out when it's in the car. You've got to take all the four plugs out and dig it out. Look at that, all sand. You blow out the airline and you still get these little grains pop out, trapped in there, old sand and casting stuff. <laughs> 